and welcome to the Blanolog. Today we're going to discuss Survivor. We've started a new season um, and everybody, all the contestants on there are returning contestants who have never won um, and it's the second chance I guess is what and they're deeming. Voted by the fans from a larger group of former players. Yes, yes. What are your thoughts on the contestants that were selected? There are a number of them I am glad to see again, mm -hmm. and about two or three that I are the people I dislike so much mm -hmm. they could cause me to turn off this season. Okay. Who who are those people that you don't like? Cass, Shireen, oh, yep, yep. and Abby Maria to an extent. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Now... Who did we lose this week? It was a, it's a little bit of a surprise. Kind Vetus. Of. Vetus. And I liked him. I, I didn't necessarily like him this much this season, but in his last season when he was with his brother and the, with the Blood vs. Water, mm -hmm. I really liked I him. I liked him there. He, I don't know if he was creepy before or <laughs> they edited him to be creepy now, but he came off very poorly. He <clears throat> tried to, I think kind of continue with his success that he had like went for a while it looked like he was going to be out and he just made friends with like mm -hmm. the group of women and he thought if he did it again but I think he accidentally did it the, the first time and then mm -hmm. trying <laughs> just he couldn't mm -hmm. couldn't like replicate that I especially guess especially because the women he's with are not inclined to like anyone yeah so that was too bad and they made a couple of Big mis I think a couple of the people made big mistakes by not voting Abby out. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple that wrote down Vetus's name that I was like, wow, that's going to come back yeah, to bite you. And that's the kind of stuff where there's, that's where we get into the stuff that goes on behind the scenes that we don't mm -hmm. see, uh, like in the Big Brother kind of thing. But yeah. That's a whole separate kettle of fish. Yeah. You know one of the things I like to see when they bring people back, I like to see the ones from the early years. And normally I'm like, well, the older players always have more difficult time with physical challenges and things mm -hmm. like that. Like in your in your average season. But these are the older players that they seem older now. But they were threats in their time and yes. in their season. So it'll be interesting to see, well, with the exception of that one guy who was the father in the Blood versus Water, he was old in his time and now I'm he's the back. <laughs> but I, I liked him. He was a little country bumpkin, kind yeah. of. <laughs> um, but I did not watch the early years of Survivor. In fact, I did not watch Survivor until the writers went on strike in the screen act the Screenwriters Guild or Writers whatever. Guild of America. Mm -hmm. And when they went on strike, the only thing new was Survivor. So I started watching Survivor, and I've continued ever since. But, um, you know, and it was many years ago, but I still didn't see several of the early seasons. So I did not see the first season with Kelly, and I didn't see the one with the one, a couple of the older guys there. Um, Australia. Yeah, and I like Kelly. Mm -hmm. I can see why people voted her in. And... And it's interesting for that to see the how the old style of play versus the new style. Because like everybody learns from previous seasons, previous right. and it builds and builds and builds. And then now it's like an entirely different game. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's and people have said that on the returning seasons, the whole thing with the hidden immunity idols and the immediate alliances, mm -hmm. and it's really um, much more intense than. I think it was in those early seasons. Yeah. Um, now, who got the immunity idol? Was that, that was another Kelly, is that? That was Kelly Wentworth. Okay. As opposed to Kelly Wigglesworth. Yes. Um, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> I liked when... The, the editors did a very did. good job of <laughs> ramping up the tension as yes. she was standing there. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing, just from her excitement when she thought she had the idol, and then, like, her acknowledgement of oh, I'm getting excited a little too soon, um, just because she had the clue to the idol, um, and then ultimately getting getting the um, mm -hmm. getting the idol at the challenge, which was very interesting, but nobody had a clue. Right. So. And she's an interesting one, too, because um, it could be a function of my spotty memory, 
but because she was in one of those seasons with family. Okay, that was the one with her dad, right? <laughs> yes. Um, it just, I her gameplay wasn't what we're going to see now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's unpredictable. Right. Which and is, Sierra's here again, right? Yes. And I think the same is going to be true for her. Like, those two especially. Vetus, I didn't think it would change so much because he kind of had this, like, war with his brother. It wasn't like you know, his brother was hindering his play. It was sort of like they were not united. But, I mean, they were they were united enough for, like, voting for whatever. But, like, right. um, they were still looking out for themselves. Whereas, I As think... As demonstrated by our cats. Yeah, exactly. Um, but... I think that both Kelly and Sierra, well, Sierra kind of went kind of against her mother there towards yeah, the I end, mean, but she, Kelly left earlier yeah. and never really seemed to stand out yeah. from what I'm remembering. Yeah, so. no, <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see her. Um, who else? Oh, Joe. All from last season. Yep. Joe. Yeah. Now. Now, what I didn't get was Joe, wasn't he with also Sharin and Cass? Weren't they on the same season? Cass was not on that season. She wasn't. I thought that she was a white collar. Maybe we'll have to pause and look. Okay, so we figured out that Cass was on the Brains versus Braun versus Beauty, which is why I get it mixed up because I always think of that as the red collar, white Very collar. Very similar theme. Color. Yes. So, um, <laughs> and she also has, it's all the stuff you folks don't see off camera. Yes. She's not really hugging me out of any love or anything. Um, Spence and Tasha were on her tribe before. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to think about who's worked with or against who in the past and how that yeah. may affect things. Which it might possibly have been Vetus's downfall. It could be because of the the thing that they showed clips about people saying how close Aris was to this Terry guy who's from a mm -hmm. season I didn't watch, so mm -hmm. I'm a little confused. Um, so people may it may have been a strike to try to stop two powerful men from a line. Which would that. make a little more sense than because he did some yoga. Right. I'd hate to even, think that they got rid of him because they were uncomfortable with his yoga. Even, I mean, it was, I don't think it was the yoga. I think that he was pushy and touchy-feely and crowded up on people's space in his multicolored undies. But <laughs> Those were weird. Those were weird. I think if I ever thought I was going to be on Survivor, I would wear an outfit that was ready. You're going to wear a wetsuit 24-7? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because the the choice is like what people wind up with is you know sometimes disturbing mm -hmm. and sometimes like why would you even be wearing that off the island? <laughs> but yeah, um, so I think I would be wearing like you never know until that season that you're applied you have applied for is cast and just you know wear <laughs> wear your survival gear. Um, but yeah, Tasha, thinking back about her now, because I had forgotten who she was based on, like, just this season. I was like, where where did she come from? But now I remember she was with Spencer and in the brains. Uh, and I really liked her. Um, Cass just showed me so crazy that season, just being yes. so stupid. Um, As is normal for lawyers on this show. Yeah, unfortunately. They don't serve our occupation well on mm -hmm. here. <laughs> so, um... Or else they show it exactly as it is. It's possible. But, I don't know. I mean... I don't know any lawyers who would do that that while surviving things. You calm me my hair down. Um, we're not really survivalists. So I think they they overestimate their their intellect in what they can do with this game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's a different kind of smart that wins that wins Survivor, right. and it's people smart. It's very emotional intelligence mm -hmm. and people reading skills. Yes. If you think about EQ, it, high EQ. EQ. Our, I mean, I'm sure there are lawyers that are found with it, but a lot of people. The 
end up in law school mm -hmm. are not very low EQ, high IQ sometimes. Well, yes. not all the time, even with, but some of them, you know. Mm. So I'm hoping that um, we see Cass leave pretty soon, sooner rather than later, and she can take Sharin with her. Yes, who is just all about the drama, and yes. I just like save the drama for your mama. You're a poet. I am. And then it's like, but my mom didn't love me. And then it's sort of like... And it's all over you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're the villain of the series. Yep, yep. So, And, and I hope that um, Jack doesn't entertain that. <laughs> he kind of entertained her a little too much in her season as far as, oh, you know, like you are a victim and this. And mm -hmm. Sometimes Jack has to say, hey, you're here to play the game. Right. And... Exactly. That that's something that I have experience with in real life and try to be very sensitive to in real life. But in the game of Survivor, she's using it as a sword and a shield mm -hmm. to attack people and to hide from people. And that is kind of offensive to me as um, someone that has experience with victims of violence and abandonment and all those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. So she can leave. Right. Um, so do you have any strong favorites coming out of the gate? I don't really. There's probably like 14 of the people I wouldn't mind if they won based on their previous experience. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be interesting as it shakes out. There's some I just want gone. But yep. um, really I'm just hoping we see enough of this season to be entertained. Yeah. I liked I liked Joe in his season. Yes. Um, and I don't know. I I kind of want to see some of the older ones go far. Like I'd like to see Kelly kind of go. Wigglesworth. Yeah, Wigglesworth. Mm -hmm. Um. And I don't know. Couple. The couple of the ones I didn't know really intrigued me, and I would like to see how they they play yeah. out, especially just with that difference that. I mentioned earlier. And Varner was talking about the difference between season two yes. and now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it is so different. It is. It, everyone's learned from past seasons and that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I. I think that it loses a little of its authenticity later in later seasons, which is why I think that things tend to go off the air. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess we'll just like. Play it by week by week as we go because I've noticed too in past where people come on that I've liked that in another season I don't care for as much and where and, and vice versa where I didn't right. like them and they kind of grow on me in a different one. It's it's it shows you how much editing really has to you know to kind of play and things. It, yeah, it, it reminds me of Big Brother how when we were really into that we watched the feeds or read about the feeds, and it was such a different experience. It was almost like a completely different show happening mm -hmm. versus what CBS showed us. Yeah. And I like to think as a fan of Survivor, they're being a little more authentic in what they're showing us, because um, I don't want all my heroes to die. Yeah. Uh, I will say, I haven't heard the complaints from the cast members I have as not much. Either. Yes. I mean, there's a couple things where they say... And one person did blame the editing, and they called them out on it in the, oh, remember? Oh, in the last season. Yeah, right? yes. was it last season? I couldn't remember the how. The postman guy. That, yeah. And they had the actual video. Yep, was, and they yeah. said, tell us how that was editing, because sometimes people use that as their crutch or their explanation when mm -hmm. really it, it has nothing to right. do with it. So I like to think that they were a little more authentic mm -hmm. than, like, Big Brother shows and and maybe they do that for Big Brother because they pay, like, you can pay for those live feeds and they want, <laughs> they want to get you both ways. Yeah. So, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. And I guess uh, as my opinion forms on each of them a little bit more this season, I'll be able to start rooting for a tribe. I, I don't have a tribe that I'm currently rooting for or anything because my people were a little bit split and I liked people in both tribes and I didn't like people in both tribes. So We'll see what happens. Yeah. That's good. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Right. I appreciate being a guest. Thanks. You have such lovely gift packages for your guests. <laughs>